What's up guys, Rev here, and today I have something different that hits home to me and a lot of people in the airsoft community on YouTube. I'm talking of course about this ridiculous update to the YouTube guidelines. If you aren't aware, YouTube recently came out with a new advertiser-friendly content guidelines that has affected some of the biggest YouTubers. With these guidelines, YouTube can stop you from monetizing your uploaded videos if they break the rules. These rules include inappropriate language, violence, sexually suggested content, sexual humor, and controversial or sensitive subjects. Now with those guidelines, think of all the channels affected by this. That's almost all of them. And I'm not talking about airsoft. A lot of the focus is on the inappropriate language, but it's far worse for us airsofters. And I'll explain why. So in the advertiser-friendly content guidelines, it says, quote, that controversial or sensitive subjects and events, including subjects related to war, political conflicts, natural disasters and tragedies, even if graphic imagery is not shown, are not allowed. At first, this doesn't sound so bad, but it really hurts the airsoft community primarily because the phrase subjects related to war. Now, I'm sure all the viewers of this channel can tell me airsoft isn't war, it's a sport. But guess what? We aren't talking about the sane, smart individuals reviewing each and every video. We're talking about fucking YouTube, who's had a streak of fucking it up. The biggest problem is how YouTube reviews their videos. There are bots that go through every video tag and description making sure that there are no explicit content. Similar to how they get explicit videos, with this new guideline, bots will look at your tags and description and see if they match any of the filtered words. Some filtered words can be war, warfare, killstreak, sniper, raid. You get the point. And if these words match, they can disable monetization. Do it enough times and congratulations, your channel's in bad standings. This obviously hurts starting and smaller channels, as their primary form of income is from ad revenue. And if an entire channel is deemed by YouTube to be war related, that can be problematic. To show proof that this is going on, a recent YouTuber called BlueDray42 had this happen to one of his videos. This video is called American Occupation. It's a video of Squad. And for the um, 200,000 views that it got, it made about $14. And, and of the ad revenue it made, it made $0. The, the only money I made off of this was YouTube Red Revenue. And the reason it made zero ad revenue is because this video was marked, you guessed it, not advertiser friendly. And you want to know the reason that this video was marked as not monetizable? This is the best part. It wasn't because of cursing. It wasn't because of controversial material. It was because of, get this, get this, war journalism. Because apparently, war journalism isn't just war journalism anymore. Playing a video game that has guns in it is now considered war journalism. I'll post a link to his video in the description below for you to check out. Now you might be saying to yourself, this can't happen to Airsoft because it's a sport. But if you look at the search terms for Airsoft on YouTube, they're all related to warfare, guns, fights, and injuries, all of which are apparently to YouTube are fucking triggers. So what can we do? Well, the first thing is to let YouTube know that this isn't right and give them feedback. If you're a content creator like myself, don't put ad words that can be mislabeled or might be flagged. But to wrap this video up, because I want to get back to making videos, think about all the YouTube channels that have violence, weapons, bad language, sexually suggested content out right now. All of those channels are affected by this. And if you think that they'll just stop at monetization, it wouldn't surprise you if they take it a step further and start removing videos and channels. Let's not make YouTube into a safe space and instead a free place. If you like this video, share it and comment if you want to join the discussion.